As the weather begins to dip, there's nothing better than cozying up on the couch with your favorite food. That's right. And here to show us how to dress up an autumn staple and pair it with wonderful wine is the executive chef of Boca de Baco, Kristen Soleni. How are you, girl? I'm good, thanks. So good to see Great you. Great to be here. And you brought food. Oh, we yes. brought amazing, delicious, <laughs> fall-inspired recipes, and I'm so excited. Okay, okay, but you have to talk about these fall recipes because we know that pumpkins are hot right about now, but what other fruits and vegetables are right and perfect for the picking? Uh, my favorite, well, what we're featuring today is butternut squash. Yes. Absolutely love it. Oh. Of course, you have eggplant that's also really good. You've got mm -hmm. some good, um, we have uh, oyster mushrooms that are really good in yeah, season really right is, now. Yes. So we're just going to hop right in. Okay. Our first dish is a homemade mm. fettuccine with roasted butternut squash. Mm. Eggplant and oyster mushrooms. Ooh, oh, so this is pretty it. much all your components that you need. I'll let all you right. hold that right here. I will hold We're that. gonna get our sauce started. We have a little white wine that you're gonna reduce down. So Ooh. as we pour that in, then we have our olive oil and garlic that yeah. you're gonna cook. Of course, we always want a little salt, yeah. salt. a little pepper. Yeah. And now you can just dump all of these ingredients Ooh. in. Okay. So uh -oh. here we have the butternut squash, Does this can, can, the mushrooms, the mm, eggplant, mm, mm. and then we finish it off with some chopped parsley. Mm. And you let this cook down and you're gonna let this reduce for about, probably about eight to 10 minutes. Okay. Is that when all the liquid's gone, you know it's done? Exactly, okay, so you're gonna gotcha. start to see that wine reduce down. Mm -hmm. And here is our finished product here. Ooh, that, that looks beautiful. Yes, yeah, so we have the homemade fettuccine. Mm -hmm. I, homemade pasta, you just can't go wrong <laughs> yeah. with it, right? Yeah. I absolutely love it. And it has uh, a lot of color to it as well. It has yeah, great fall. It kind of yeah. looks like fall, right? Yeah. It looks very seasonal, which I absolutely love. Yeah, so what's right. great about the restaurant now, because we have so many wonderful vegetables in season, we're mm -hmm. doing a lot of features. You okay. know, a lot of features that you're not going to get, you know, year round. So mm -hmm. you can come in for these special. I'm gonna move over to my absolute favorite, okay. which is right here. Now this oh, wow. sounds like heaven on a plate. It looks like it too. <laughs> this is heavenly. Okay. So these are our arancini. Arancini derives out of Sicily. Okay. So it's basically like a risotto rice ball. Traditionally, they're saffron risotto rice balls okay. with peas. They have a little ground meat in the middle and some mm. mozzarella cheese. You can oh. do them anyway. Basically, it's a deep fried risotto rice ball. Ooh, Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Who wants to love that? Oh so these gosh. get a little messy. Who wants to get messy with I me? Do, I Shannon. do. I do. All right, Shannon, get on over here. So I just grab one of these? Grab one of these. So this okay. is your risotto Ooh. rice ball. You're okay. going to put a so hole right in, in the, the middle. Center. Okay. Right in the center. There you go. Then we're going to grab our, um, this is our butternut squash okay. with black truffle. Okay. Mm, Ooh, if you just, good. oh my God. Oh, I can do if a If you just bit of get that. a whiff of that okay. black just truffle. Just then we have our burrata cheese, which as you can see is so creamy and milky. Mm. Okay, and you just keep pushing it down in Keep pushing hole. it down, okay. and then we add a little more black truffle. Black truffle. Oh, and then the key <laughs> She's getting to started this, already. Oh. <laughs> then basically you just Fold it over? Fold it over. Okay. They're a little tricky. They take yeah, some messy. practice. And you want to roll them back into a ball. Okay. All right. And it's kind oh, of fun, too, in the kitchen. You can get, you know, kids love using their hands. They do. Oh, so yeah. you can even get kids involved in this, which this is, is great. Fun. I'm going right. to get involved in this burrata. <laughs> <laughs> then, then to finish this off, so we kind of dust it with a little flour. Okay, mm. just roll just, it in there. Exactly. You roll it in there. Make and sure that's, the whole thing's covered. The right? whole thing's covered, okay. and that's where you're going to get your structure in from. There. Okay. Okay. So this, the process is very... Um, uh oh <laughs> <Mine's> <laughs> okay. falling apart. We're there getting we in there. So you do flour, <laughs> then uh -huh. you do egg. Okay. And that's just straight so egg. A lot of people do egg first and then flour. The key is to really oh. do the, the flour first to lock everything in, oh. then your egg, and okay. then you'd use panko breadcrumbs okay. to finish it <laughs> off. There. Your work, you did not eating the burrata. You've got to know that you're going to make a mess in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Okay. Arancini <laughs> comes with a mess, but now they what come kind of out breadcrumbs are delicious. These? So this is panko breadcrumbs, panko. and this is a Japanese breadcrumb. Yeah, panko okay. is very popular in panko these Panko is great. Mm -hmm. Now, how long do we deep fry it once we deep fry it? So you put it on the deep fryer right until they get golden brown right there. Wow. So it's probably going to be about three to five minutes. Okay. And the Ooh. great thing about this is you can pair it with all different sauces. So here we have a wonderful balsamic balsamic sauce. Mm. Normal traditional arancini you do like with a tomato sauce. Mm. You can do so many different things, which is so great. 
So now it's time to taste it and see now how we did. Now taste it back. Right. I'll let you go first while I'm cleaning my hands off. Okay. It was warned, a messy meal. Yeah. I warned you, it was messy. <laughs> right. Next so, time we'll use gloves. Here. And I'm go. also okay. really, really excited to announce about mm. my new nonprofit foundation, the Hope oh. Foundation. Oh, wait, tell yes. us more about yes, that. Yes, I'm so excited. We have our grand opening, a big launch party, which is a masquerade gala mm. on Halloween night at Boutique in New York City. And we... Um, the, the goal behind it is we help others pursue education in the culinary, visual, and performing arts. So we wow. try and um, you know, help others through providing scholarships to qualified candidates, which is great, pursuing a career in those fields. Well, how can people get involved with the organization? Yeah. Uh, you can go to our website, which is hopefoundationus.org, and learn more about it. We have a lot of different volunteer opportunities uh, and way to donate to it. Oh, all right. And by the way, these are all amazing. Oh, I know. Delicious. They're just really good. Oh. What else should we order on the menu when we yes. think Boca de Baco? Oh, my goodness. What else do you recommend? Uh, what don't I recommend? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, have a, we have a lot of different things what there. What are some so of your have, favorites? One of my favorites appetizers is mm -hmm. the braised quail. Mm. You have to really love meat and love quail, but it's wrapped with um, pancetta with some sage in there, mm -hmm. which is unbelievable. Also, our ricotta tortellini with a butter sage sauce oh. this time of year. Oh my God. Fresh ricotta and spinach, homemade tortellini. Unbelievable. You, really good. You know oh, what? Even my baby salad. <laughs> Baby's baby kicking like, yeah. <laughs> now, I heard your restaurant is also a celebrity hotspot. Who's been seen there? It is. It is. So we've got some good people all over, especially different locations. We get, uh, I don't know if I'm going to drop some names Oh, go here. for it. Just drop Keep them. them in there. We get Emma Stone that just joined us, which was wonderful. Um, we get Ethan Hawke in there. Thank so we had, we had the SNL after party there with Taylor Swift and nice. Seth Rogen. Wow. So it's been a good spot. All right. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. You definitely got to come down there for this good food Four and hang out with the celebs. Yeah. You can find us. All right. <laughs> and Thank now you'll have Shannon and Lola there. Yes. <laughs> Please join me at my table. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, Delicious. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. Mm. Amazing. Good? You like it? <laughs>